One more featherweight showcase bout. Shaman Marias, Lazar Stoyadinovich. This one promises to be an exciting affair at 145 pounds. Sean O'Connell, Randy Couture, Chael Sonnen beside the PFL Smart Cage. Great action so far in the showcase bouts. We've got one more left before we head to the winner go home scenarios. Featherweights and light heavyweights in the playoffs. Chael, it's your first PFL experience. How are you feeling so far? I love it because I get it, guys. They're trying to impress Ray Seppo, who's sitting ringside. Showcase, perfect term for what we've seen so far tonight. Absolutely. You're doing, uh, I will give you a B plus so far. I'll take it. I'll we're take gonna, a B plus. We're, we're going to need you to step it up just a little bit. 89, 88%? Yeah, like 87 My mother and a half, would be okay. very okay with that. <laughs> we'll, we'll round up. The fighter performance rating is hovering right around that 87 point. I'll take right it. Okay. Feels like a compliment over here, Randy. Am I taking this wrong? No, I think you're taking it right. Randy, remember, that's not just on his action, but his impact on the Oh, body. there. Okay. And I the forget impact about has that. Been it's been decent so far. See, it keeps touting this algorithm because the guy got, got punched in the head for so long. Sure. Is the one who developed the algorithm. Talking to us like he can even spell algorithm. <laughs> yeah, listen, Mr. <laughs> Judgmental over here. It makes perfect sense that you would have me do the intellectual <laughs> stuff. Listen, uh, we've got Shaman Marias and Lazar Stoyadinovic. I, I'm going to talk to you first sure. about Shaman Marias. We saw a guy who came out and, and lost his first bout of the regular season. Okay, he gets knocked out by Brendan Lochnane. He comes with a huge, really, comeback, come from behind victory against Jesse Stern with that Kimura victory. Didn't earn him enough points to get into the playoffs, but he's riding a win, and it's not always just about impressing Ray Seppo. He's probably done that. He could be the alternate if he gets a win here tonight for a final. Sure, look, there's politics in PFL like anything. Look, the guys that goes last have the <laughs> most on him. There's a reason this is the last showcase uh, fight. In my opinion, it's the most explosive. And Randy, we saw Lazar Stoyadinovich against Mavlid Haibulayev. He fought that fight without a training camp. He came yeah. in, he barely made weight. He's in much better shape this time. Will we see a better Lazar? I don't see how you don't. I'm excited to see him with a full camp and see what he brings to the cage. One more featherweight show. All right, let's get these final fighters to the cage. Please welcome first, Lazar Stoyadinovic. Shaman Marais, Lazar, Stoyadinovich. Let's take a look at our tale of the tape in this featured showcase bout. Lazar is two years older. Shaman Marais is one inch taller. Both weighed in at the 146 pound featherweight limit. Four inch reach advantage goes to Shaman Marais, the Brazilian. <laughs> one last time on the showcase bouts, Lillian Garcia. That's right, my fans, this is your featured bout on ESPN Plus, and it's in the featherweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a striker, standing at 5'7". He officially weighs in at 145 and one half pounds. In 22 professional bouts, he has a record of 14 wins and eight losses, with nine victories by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, here is Lazar Brooks Bomber Stoya Dinovic. His opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is also a striker, 
standing at 5'8". He officially weighs in at 146 pounds. In 17 professional bouts, he has a record of 12 wins and five losses with six victories by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Niterói, Brazil, here is Shimon Moraes. Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson will oversee the action in our final showcase event here, 145 pounds. These two featherweights set to square off. Shame on Marias. So are you ready? Fight. In the green trunks, Lazar Stoyadinovich, the southpaw in the black and gray. Guys are a little quicker than the action we've seen tonight. You can just see them in the way they bump and, the, and they bounce around. You can see it in their step. Explosiveness is upon us, fellas. It's like Shaman is content to sit back, wait, and try and counter whatever Stoyadinovich brings. Left hand comes up short for Stoyadinovich. Morais is considering starting this thing with a straight cross as well. You can tell you the way his shoulders are starting to line up. He's thinking about bringing that power hand to the party first. Keeping his distance for now as Lazar tries to work his way in behind a jab. Front kick misses. Yet to see something from Shavon other than feints. There's a jab. Kicks here from Lazar Stoyadinovich. Flash in the center. Stoyadinovich tried to bring a knee up the middle. That landed on the chest of Shaman Mariah. Stoyadinovich did a little trap. He reached out with that lead hand. Patted down that lead hand of Marias and tried to come over the top with, with his power hand and then followed it with that knee. Body kick from Stoyadinovich on the exit. He worked his way into the single leg. Wasn't able to finish it. Randy, there's only two options from what I've seen. Either Marias is setting something up or he doesn't know this round has started. <laughs> That might be true, Chael. Well, I, as far as his activity and history being a great trajectory to the future, he generally gets something going by now. I'm not discounting him, but he might be counting on one home run. I don't know what it is he's looking for. Wobbled, shame on Marias. Wore one off his ear there. Big winging right hand for Stoyadinovich, who now grabs Marias and dumps him to his back. It is not terribly uncalled. Right to the boat. It is not terribly uncommon when you're coming off a loss to be hesitant in your next outing. And I fear that maybe we've got a little bit of jitter still getting worked off here for Marias. No, Shema Marias coming off that Kimura victory. It's Stoyadinovich who's fighting off a loss. And now the wrestling from Marias as he lands on top of Lazar. And in our first day together, Sean, perhaps you didn't know, but please don't let your facts get in the way of my story. In the future, in the future. <laughs> it appears that Shane Alvarez has woken up uh, to your point, I Shale. agree with that. Lazar doing a good job of getting up. Chael's FPR just plummeting after the incorrect <laughs> statement there. <laughs> Even Babe Ruth struck out sometimes, right? They're not all home runs, guys. Oh, 
Lazar's got double underhooks here. He's gonna need to pull Marias off the fence to be able to score with this, but he's in a, he's in an op good opportune position here. Right now, again, he's got to pull him off the fence. Nice reversal of position there. So he didn't reach good, Randy, when he, they, they break or there's an exit. He's always throwing something out. Yeah, he's not letting you off the hook without making you taste something. I can get that misses for shame on Marias. There's a hook from Stoya Dinovic who says, come on, let's do this. <laughs> Kicks himself off balance. Marias sees a right hand block. Strong round from Lazar Stoya Dinovic, but it served to wake up Shabon Marias as well. Ooh, that almost a... That's the one that wobbled Shabon Marias. Little low there, Randy, is that what you're seeing? Yeah, I saw a little cup <laughs> check there. Yeah. Followed with a big overhand right. Gosh, that's a great punch face. Sean, you are right, though. Marias did get going. About two minutes left. He definitely got going. They got their heart rate up now. Nice body lock by Stoyadinovich. Changes direction, spins him one way, captures those hips, took him there. Nice inside trip by Shamon Marias. A little back and forth in round number one. Oh. I'm not sure Lazar Stoyadinovich knew that he had stumbled Shaman Marais because he went for the takedown immediately. Might have had Shaman in some trouble there on the feet. Yeah, he may have been a little too close to his work and not realized he hurt him. He felt that shot, boy. I felt he for Stoyadinovich trying that high kick and flopping himself to the ground. That's, That's what happens every time I try that too. <laughs> That's why I never kick at someone's head, Randy. I don't have the flexibility for it. Beginning around number two here, FPR score goes to Lazar Stoyadinovich. All right, they worked it out. They worked it out between them. Marais is not waiting to get this second round going. It looked at least at the beginning, he came right across. Yeah. Nice stiff Push jab. kick to the face from Shaman Marais. <laughs> Already more activity in the early goings of oh, two. Big body kick. Double underhooks again here for Lazar. Presses shame on Marais against the smart cage barrier. Drops down to a single. Left hand goes to work for shame on Marais. Lazar good with the pressure. I'm just not sure that Lazar's best strategy isn't to just break free. I think he does some of his better point scoring, attention getting from the open. I think he's done a good job with the hands and kicks tonight. I don't know that he needs to take this to a grappling realm just yet. Stoya Dinovich complaining a little bit about a collision of heads there in that clinch. High kick attempt from Marias after the double jab. Right back to the clash. Stoya Dinovich chasing Shame on Marias now. Chest to chest again. Big toss from Shaman Marias. Good recovery from Stoyadinovich. And a knee. Much more furious pace here in round number two. Suffice to say, they are both awake at this point. Stoyadinovich trying to draw him into that brawl. Get him to trade and get into that nose to nose. Let's see who's tougher type of battle. Body shot. One to the chest. Well, Lazar's only got one switch, man. It's on. He is coming after. Morais, sometimes good, sometimes a, a little bit untactical, but he's moving forward either way you want to slice it. Stiff left. And another clash of the heads. Marias leading with that power hand. Leading with that power kick. Lazar comes in behind a jab, swinging the left hand. Timeout from Keith Peterson. 
The open stances causing a couple of collisions there. Forehead to forehead, forehead to nose. Referees asking both of the fighters to watch it. Very common in an open stance. Guys clash heads a lot. Nice body kick from Mariah. He's loading up everything on the backhand where his power's at, but he's getting it to the target, guys. If you're fast enough to get this deal for Mariah, that's what you want to do. Mariah catches a kick, single leg. Dumps Stoyanovic to the ground, but only for the briefest of moments. Back to Lafitte goes Lazar. Closing in on one minute remaining in round number two. A lot of back and forth action here. Step in knee from Marias. So Yudinovich glances a left hand off the top of Marias' head. High kick. Nice right hand from Marias. All power, guys. Everything he's throwing. Very few feel out. Very few jabs. Oh, he's in trouble. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Strategy, crosses, backhands, back legs, everything designed to hurt. Morias has been looking for that from the opening bell. He found it at the end. I'm gonna need to see the replay. I think it was an overhand right. Yeah, it was hard to see. I think Stoyadinovich was coming in and he walked into something. Got to Some lumps on Lazar Stoyadinovich, a lump or two on Shaman Marais, your winner as well. Here's our replays. Head kick, glances off the guard. Both swing and a miss. I think it was a delayed reaction from yep. that head kick, I it think. It was. No, it was the overhand right afterward. They clashed in and it kind of skipped off the top above the ear. Let's see that replay one more time if we can. Ref cam. Oh, that was solid. Yeah, that's it. Caught him high. Left side of his temple. He's trying to hang on. Lazar Stoyadinovich saved by Keith Peterson. One more look at it. Oh, I see it from that angle. Yep. It was Definitely. the delayed reaction, all right, but it was that right hand. Landed on his own arm as well. Disorientation there for Lazar Stoyadinovich as the hammer fist come down. And to Lazar's credit, he is not trying to get out. He's trying to find a way to fight. He's just not real sure where he's at right now. Tell you what, that was a 50-50 proposition. <laughs> Both guys step in. With, yeah. Lead foot down and right over the top. And it happened to be Shaman Marias who found his target. Two in a row for Shaman Marias. Both of them finishes in the second round, by the way. Cajunomic Stats Bundle presented by Geico. A lot of back and forth in this one. Shaman Marias with the end. Final thought. It's official next. Welcome back to ESPN Plus. Sean O'Connell and Randy Couture and Chael Sonnen beside the PFL Smart Cage. Exclusive fighter performance rating is brought to you by Rich Energy. And Chael, I told you before, there's only one way you can earn a perfect 100 
on the FPR. Do you remember how you do that? Remind me, please. You get a finish inside the round, and that's what Shavon Marias did. So he gets a score of 100. That's, by the way, after losing the first round, according to the FPR. Lillian Garcia makes it official. Ladies and gentlemen, the stoppage comes officially at four minutes and 45 seconds of round number two. Your winner by TKO, Shimon Moraes. Shimon Moraes victorious again. The closing moments of round number two. That's two in a row in the second round. Back and forth affairs in both. Strong performance from the Brazilian striker.